Hell yeah, the time has come again when I share with you my list of top 10 greatest movies of the year. I'm talking the best of the best, the most awesome, the most outstanding, the most memorable, the cream of the crop sort of a deal. Now these are based on just the ones I've seen, so if I overlooked any title that you think should have been also on this list, feel free to share your own top 10 best of 2021 in the comment section below. Let's rock this. At number 10, The Suicide Squad, a sequel that is miles better than its weak predecessor. The Suicide Suicide Squad is irreverent, gory, comically violent, and outrageously wild, and it's the kind of Suicide Squad movie that can only come from the twisted mind and humor of James Gunn. At number 9, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Zack Snyder finally finished what he started and it's fantastic. The visual effects are spectacular and it's beautifully shot with so many great cinematic moments. Zack Snyder has crafted the Lawrence of Arabia of superhero movie. At number 8, Tick Tick Boom! There were several great musicals this past year including The West Side Story and In The Heights, but I gotta give this spot to Tick Tick Boom, which is not only a joyous celebration of the late great Jonathan Larson, but it's also a love letter to musical theater, a somber commemoration of the AIDS epidemic, and a heartfelt requiem of every suffering artist. At number 7, Raya and the Last Dragon. As a Southeast Asian born and raised, I never thought I'd live to see the day that Disney would make a movie featuring characters that look like me. And I tell you what, they got it down pat and I could not be any happier. At number 6, A Quiet Place Part 2. There's no rehashing or recycling of the first film. It shows how the apocalypse came to be and then it picks up right where they left off, and then it moves forward with its own set of nerve-wracking moments. So intense, you can hear a pin drop. At number 5, Last Night in Soho. Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho floors me. It's an astounding psychological horror with neon-drenched visuals and spellbinding performances by Anya and Thomason. This is a haunting Hitchcockian thriller that's superbly executed. At number 4, Spider-Man No Way Home. This is quite possibly the best Spidey movie since Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2. Every detail of its twists and turns and its multiverse surprises is very well thought out. Absolutely mesmerizing. The pacing is great. The actions are spectacular. This movie is the ultimate crowd pleaser. At number 3, Army of the Dead. I know, two Zack Snyder movies on this list, but hey, what can I say? 2021 was indeed Zack Snyder's year. The man was on top of his game, and the result is this heist adventure that's scary, action-packed, and fun. Army of the Dead is a wildly entertaining firepower zombie flick that features some of the best death scenes ever. At number 2, King Richard. King Richard is good. It's real good. Every kid in the world should make it their priority to see this courageous, inspiring, and unabashedly truthful movie. Yes, Will Smith shines, but equally amazing is his co-star, Anjanew Ellis, who plays Richard's unwavering, resolute wife. Anjanew gives one of this year's most tour de force supporting performances. And finally, at number 1, the greatest movie of 2021 is Don't Look Up. This is a brilliant satire. It's Adam McKay's best movie yet. Yeah, underneath it is an obvious climate change message, but it's wrapped in a hilarious, unapologetic comedy that points out the ridiculousness of what our pretentious society considers to be priorities. So there you go, my top 10 list of best movies of this past year, 2021. Go share your own list in the comment section below. Please subscribe, ring that bell and as always let's rock this